Yes. Hello everybody, it's Eric Randall again here with another buy sales tutorial. Today we are going to be creating a new user and in the process we're going to add a SIM card to our boss account and then we're also going to create a service plan. On the line with me, I have Peng Yu from our technical support team. If I run into any troubles, hopefully he'll be able to help me out. So on the screen now, you see the cloud core. Go to the cloud core, create an account, and then you can follow along. First, we'll be putting in my username and password. I'm a Mac user, so everything's saved for me, nice and easy. When you first log into Cloud Core, it's going to come up with your basic dashboard in the OMC. The OMC is our network manager. What we're going to be looking at today is actually the boss, which is our Evolve Packet Core. It has some functionalities of an Evolve Packet Core, but not all of the features there. Currently, you see that I do have one SIM card, one user up and running. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our network tab sim card and we're going to add a sim so in my hand is one of our sim cards i'm going to try and get this a little closer we have two different types of sim cards one's called the three in one and you can see it here how there are three different perforations for different size sims our outdoor cpes they take the big old giant one here and that's called macro if you put it in a cell phone or one of our newer indoor CPEs, it's going to go with the smallest size, the Nano. So our MZ value, which we're going to need, is actually <laughs> right up top there. And we're going to try and input that in. So we come over to our import tab here. It's going to come up and give you two different options, a recharge code or a file code. The recharge code sits on packs of 10 SIM cards. In my hand is a pack of 10, but I don't have that recharge code. It's also called an activation code. So if you see that on your pack of 10, that's what that means. We are going to just do a file. So I'll click file. And what I'm going to do first is export the template. I'm going to bring that template over now. So we could all look at it together. So here's the template, MZ, and then just the SIM card. If you're dealing with a buy sell SIM, this is already in the buy sell system. So all you need is the SIM card. If you're bringing a third party SIM, you need some extra data. Peng Yu, what is that extra data you need for a SIM card and how would you get a third party SIM in? Uh, you will do the same thing, but you will uh, require for the MC numbers, KI, OPC value, and uh, activation code. But you can leave the activation code as the default, that whatever is in that template. Um, but the rest, the KI, OPC will be provided by you. So that those are the most two uh, important value that you need to provide in order for importing the third party SIM. All right, thank you. So one problem I've always seen, and, and Ping, you could probably agree with this, is when you're importing one of the SIMs back in, Excel constantly likes to put things in the exponential uh, format. Make sure you change that format to where it is not going in this way. So you would just go to your general tab, make it a number, uh, and then drop it back a couple, and you're done. Hit enter there. And now we'll save this, import card by operator, save. We could X that out. Now we'll just import it back in. Import, file, and then we'll grab that file. So my downloads, right here, hit upload, hit OK. Hey, it worked, ping you. And we'll see here that the MZ was success to go onto my account. So now we'll see that that 23907 is right there. So now I have that SIM available to me. The next step we're going to look at is going to be creating a service plan. This is where you as an operator will define what your uplink and downlink data will be. So your different service plans 
whether it's a 100 by 20, a 50 by 5, a 25 by 3, this is where you could define that plan. So you go back to your network tab, service plans, and then you would just create a new one by hitting the plus in the upper right hand corner. Plus service plan. Now you could give it whatever name you want. Today we'll just call it test service plan. And our uplink we'll just do five megs. And then our downlink will do 50. So this would be a 50 by five package and down here you could define it as 55, 50 by five package. All right, from there we'll move my head out the way. We'll hit okay. And we'll, comes back to my last one and you'll see there that it was created, where it was created and here's our package there, our speeds. So after that, you would go into your subscriptions to create your new user. So click on subscription over here. Same thing. We'll have an add button up here. All the information you want to put, you can put in here. We're going to move my head again. So let's just go with Jimmy. Um, you could even select an existing customer, but all of the information, put as much as you want, as little as you want. As an operator, you make that decision. So once you get all of the customer information in, you come down to the SIM card, find the MZ, so click MZ, and we're working on this MZ here. We would just click that button, so we have it checked, and now we would hit OK. So we'll see that the MZ was put over here. Next, we click the main service plan. We're doing the test service plan of 50 by 5. We click that, we hit OK. Now all the information is in here, to make this go live, all we do is hit OK. It's going to give you a brief overview of what you're trying to do. And then from there, you're also going to scroll down. Scroll down. You're going to find the Submit button. You hit Submit. It's going to bring us back to the previous menu. And you'll see the Jimmy was created. Test service plan here. We wait a second. This deactivate will go into active. And now we could take this SIM card here put it into any one of our CPEs, and it would be up and running, ready to go if you're coming across a buy sales rant. All right, everybody, that's our basic tutorial on how to import a SIM card, create a service plan, and activate a user. If you have any questions, post them in the comments or let me know. Thank you, everybody.